So a body of mass m is projected at an angle theta to the horizontal. Let me draw that one. Here body is first projected like that and it is traveling in this way. How you know sir? Because projected at an angle with the horizontal. Certain angle with the horizontal means you have to recollect oblique projectile. So oblique projectile it is traveling like that. And what happened, the projectile at highest point, at maximum height, the projectile breaks into, that is what we are projecting. It may be, suppose you are taking one bomb we have taken. The bomb has been, mass is, suppose here M, at highest point it breaks into fragments of equal masses. So this is the highest point. Here this mass M is made into two equal parts, M by 2, M by 2, like that they mention. So where is explosion takes place means at highest point explosion takes place. Explosion is nothing but explosion at highest point explosion takes place and bomb became into two parts. At highest point has exploded total momentum before explosion total momentum after explosion must be same. Why? Here explosion when it takes place, explosion takes place, it is an internally developed thing. It is, there is no external forces are acting for explosion. For explosion there are no external forces. Because of internal forces bomb explodes into two parts. From the information about law of conservation of linear momentum, if there is no external force acting on the body, total momentum of the system will remain constant. Total momentum of the system will remain constant. So here also explosion is an internal force. That means here momentum before explosion is equal to momentum after explosion. This is the information I can write. Momentum before explosion is equal to momentum after explosion. First of all, what happened, I will write in vector form. How you know, sir, momentum before and after are same? Because there is no external force. Before explosion and after explosion, when the bomb is exploding, means here, there is no external force. So total momentum before explosion, after explosion must be same. Before explosion, where the object is at, bomb is at highest position. At highest position, explosion takes place. So at highest position means the bomb mass is M. The velocity at highest position in oblique projectile. If you go back to the oblique projectile concept, oblique projectile concept, at maximum height, it has only horizontal velocity and vertical velocity will become zero. And horizontal velocity at any point will remain constant. So what I understood here, Vx value is equal to u cos theta. That means what is the velocity at highest point? It means I can say it is u cos theta from that information. Here now bomb explodes at highest point. Before explosion, total mass is here and velocity is u cos theta. Generally u cos theta at highest point is in which direction means it is in, suppose this direction I will take it as x-axis. So I cap is the direction, unit vector along the x-axis. So I want to write in vector form is m into u cos theta I cap. This is before explosion. After explosion what happens sir? m by 2. m by 2. So your first two parts it became one part they are telling that one of the fragment, if you observe the question, they are telling you after becoming two parts, one of the fragment retraces the point of projection. Retraces the point of projection means it is exactly coming back in the same direction. Exactly. See here, I will take a first page. You can observe very clearly here. So before explosion, what happened at highest point, total mass is M and it is U cos theta. It, this direction I am taking in the direction of I cap. So momentum before explosion. Momentum before explosion. Just now I wrote it as MU cos theta I cap. After explosion it became two parts I am telling. 
one part they told that one of the part that is mass is m by 2 it retraces the same path it is coming back to the initial point retracing same path means what will be the velocity at highest position here same velocity it has to go back to the same point means the velocity must be what u cos theta only but u cos theta retracing coming back so the u cos theta direction is in which direction now opposite direction so one of the momentum is p1 bar is equal to m by 2 u cos theta in that direction it is plus i cap means this direction i can write it as minus i cap so i can write here minus i cap so i got p1 bar also this is the total mass this is one of the fragment and another fragment is moving it is also at highest position but it is moving in which direction i don't have any idea here it is but uh, let me write the velocity is v2 bar so i don't know exactly it is going in front it is going or back it is going i don't have any information so simply what is the momentum of this uh, second part means i can write mass is m by 2 velocity is some v bar v2 bar let me write v2 bar which i don't have any information let me take otherwise v instead of v2 let me take the velocity of the second part as v so that what happens here m by 2 v bar i can write now i'm coming back so here you observe here so what is moment of before and after i wrote here the same steps i'm writing again momentum before explosion is equal to momentum after explosion momentum before explosion i wrote m u cos theta i cap momentum after explosion one part mass is m by 2 u cos theta minus i cap other part mass is other part mass is m by 2 into v bar like that i got so i understood that everywhere m we can eliminate we can cancel m all the sides so here u cos theta i cap plus is equal to 1 by 2 u cos theta or minus 1 by 2 u cos theta i cap and v bar by 2 so now i am taking this term to other side here minus 1 by 2 u cos theta came this side means what will happen u cos theta plus u by 2 cos theta here both i can take common as i cap is equal to v bar by 2 now finally what i understood here is this one if you take lcm i can write it as 3 by 2 u cos theta i cap is equal to v bar by 2 2 to get cancelled 2 to get cancelled so finally if you observe here i took just here lcm and i got 3 by 2 u cos theta i cap is equal to v bar by 2 so my answer what i got here v bar equal to 3 u cos theta i cap i cap indicates what direction i cap indicates what direction that means to in the second part m by 2 is moving front like that front means psi cap back means minus i cap i got i cap means here now v bar is equal to it is moving with the what velocity 3 u cos theta i cap or simply i want the magnitude v means i can write 3 u cos theta this is the velocity of the second fragment velocity of the second fragment let us go back to our question here see we can write they i took it as u they took it as v doesn't matter so answer finally it is <coughs> 3v cos theta i took this v as u okay beta sir, is it clear? yeah please Sir, why did you, how did you take m by 2 v bar, sir? Yes, because here in the question, you please observe carefully. Yeah. They have told that one fragment, that is, breaks into two fragments of equal mass. One fragment retraces the path, they told. 
other fragment we don't have any information about velocity one fragment is m by 2 cos theta minus i cap but other fragment they didn't give any information about velocity i don't know i have just taken that velocity name as v1 understand now yes sir. here all, here also what i have to take u cos theta here also i'll write m by 2 u cos theta now you check in this equation you will understand before explosion m y by 2 u cos theta i cap after explosion m by 2 u cos theta minus i cap plus m by 2 v bar i don't know no second part is going in which velocity just i wrote v bar because i don't have information is it clear kids yes sir. okay dimant rajak Sinidhi. Yes. Okay. 